Hey guys, so this will be another one of those days when I try out uh, using my iPhone for the audio on this because uh, it's actually quite loud where I am and uh, hopefully going through the iPhone is going to help me out a little bit in keeping the audio clean for you guys. So, uh, today's tech blog is on air wraps, but not just any air wraps. The air wraps that you do from a waist wrap that go behind your back. Oh dear. Uh, this is coming out of some tricks I was trading off with uh, Charles Hinton down in Atlanta this past weekend, uh, immediately after my last Advanced Poi workshop. Um, now, Charles had a really interesting method for, uh, for learning this type of move that involved switching back and forth between a behind-the-back pendulum and a pendulum on the native side hand, right? The theory being that you could get the two to kind of cross over each other and produce an air wrap on either side. I was and continue to have an exceptionally hard time doing this. Part of the reason, of course, being that at least on this side of my body, it's going in my non-dominant direction, right? Um, so, I resolved to try this, try doing this out of what I did know, which was uh, taking kind of a three beat waist strap kind of movement and seeing if I could just get the air wrap to work. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, this is really no different than, say, doing a five beat weave and a waist strap, right? Oop. So, with that in mind, uh, I got down the one side. The other side was so much harder, and still is, really. Um, some tips, actually, that Charles gave me that turned out to be incredibly helpful with this, though, were um, if you want to imagine that um, kind of the hand that's on native side is the one that's grabbing uh, the hand that's reaching behind the back, that helps you a little bit with that catch and making sure that it's at their proper points along the poi tether, right? Um, there is also the issue of getting out of it because as you can see, I'm very prone to trying to pull apart my hands when I'm doing air wraps. This is one of many reasons why I totally despise doing air wraps. There's nothing about them that feels natural to me. Um, the initial process by which I learned air wraps was an incredibly long and uh, very unpleasant process for me. Uh, one of these things that I realized in the course of playing with this though is that uh, my planes on this side of my waist strap are slightly off, which could go a long way to explaining why uh, I've had problems even keeping that behind the back waist strap going. But with a little bit, with a little bit of effort, and assuming it doesn't tie itself in knots like this one just did, it is possible. So, this is what I'm going to keep on working on, and I recommend you guys do too. Um, I'm going to keep working on the approach, there we go, that Charles taught me. If for no other reason, then I do kind of like the idea of uh, having that little pendulum moment in there to get you in and out of it, yeah? So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and have yourselves a great week. Peace.